William Hill, the home of betting. Last year, Night of Thunder provided Richard Hannon with a first classic success in his very first season training when defeating Kingman and Australia in the Kipco 2000 Guineas. This year, the champion trainer again has a strong hand for the Newmarket Classics, with Greenham Stakes runner-up Estid Carr heading the team. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a super horse and he would have come on a lot from that like ours you know, do most of the time. We were second in the Greenham last year and he managed to win the Guinea, so we're very hopeful and we think we've got the right horse. How's he come out of the race? Super, yeah, really pleased. Of the opposition, any you particularly fear in the 2000? Yeah, about 20 of them, <laughs> to be honest. And Cool Company from Alan Emirati as they race up towards the final 150 yards. Cool Company still in front by a length and a half and racing up towards the finish. Cool Company and Fran Berry will win the game railway. Hey, what about Cool Company, Craven winner? Where's he likely to go? He's going to the Guineas. We should end up with four, four I think. Estacar, Iverwood, Cool Company and Mohit. And Iverwood, what did you make of his run in the Greenham? He will have come on an awful lot for that. He never really got into the race. He always went very quick and... You know, he'd come on an awful lot. He'd probably improve 10, 12 pounds for that, and Mohit has a great chance too. A sailor, uh, we saw her working earlier. How's she come out of her trial? Super, yeah. She, she wasn't there in a coat when she went to Newmarket for the trial. She, hopefully she'll be there next weekend for the guineas, and uh, she'll look much better, and she'll have improved for it, and she will definitely get them all. The step up in trip, do you think that might bring out a bit more improvement I from think it? Could well do. She got a mile last year in the Breeders' Cup, albeit around two turns. But she gets a mile and you know, that's a that's a big plus. Ground, anything? Any she ground. She's she's pretty she's pretty variable on ground. And Tiggy Wiggy, you're gonna let her take her chance as well. It looks like that at the moment, but we might go to France as well. We haven't quite decided yet. We left her in yesterday at the at the I think the second last stage, so we're gonna think about it. Richard Hughes seemed rather disappointed with her, her run in the trial. What, what did you make of it? Well, it's disappointing that she didn't win. I didn't think she ran disastrously bad. She settled very well and she appeared to get the seven furlongs. Whether she was sulking a little bit because we didn't let her roll and she probably needed it, I'd say there's a contribution of a, several factors. In this time of year, readying your two-year-olds for Royal Ascot, we saw them coming over the hill, sort of like cowboys and Indians in the distance. Any standing out at this stage? Well, there's a nice horse belonging to Alshie Cab by Exceeding Excel. There's a nice Dark Angel colt which might go to Ascot for the maiden or the conditions race. And the Exceeding Excel might go to, uh, to uh, Newmarket on Guineas, 1000 Guineas Day. Perhaps one horse to follow for the season? Night of Thunder, there you go. <laughs>